It's the ultimate fighting sport, mixed martial arts. In just over a decade, this hybrid fighting form has evolved from an underground blood sport into a worldwide phenomenon. With just under 24,000 professionals in 2,500 leagues around the world, MMA has surpassed boxing and pro wrestling in popularity. Since most MMA fights start on their feet, but end on the ground, the double leg takedown is the perfect move to jumpstart your training. The fighter shoots off his lead leg, making contact with his opponent's midsection and wrapping his arms around his upper thighs. The fighter then uses the upward thrust of the hips to lift his opponent into the air. The key to the double is to hit your opponent below his ribcage, which knocks him off his center of gravity. Wrapping your arms around his legs prevents him from regaining it. In order to stay on his feet, a fighter uses a technique called the sprawl. To execute the sprawl, the fighter uses the forward momentum of his opponent against him. Then he leans in, locks his hips, and slides his feet backwards. At the same time, he pushes down on his opponent's back and shoulders with his forearms, keeping his legs out of his opponent's reach. Coupled with the downward thrust of your forearms, he's now supporting your entire upper body with the back of his neck and head which leaves him face down on the mat, vulnerable to any number of attacks. For fighters comfortable with kicking, the spinning back leg kick is a key MMA move. When executing the spinning back kick, the fighter steps across his body and pivots 180 degrees on his lead leg. At the same time, he throws his head over his opposite shoulder. The kicking leg is then thrust backward, aiming at the solar plexus. Once the fight moves to the ground, MMA fighters resort to submissions and pins. A popular choke is the triangle choke. You initiate the choke by encircling your opponent's head with your right leg and crossing your left leg over the ankle, trapping your opponent's head and arm into a locked position. Finally, the fighter locks his hands behind his opponent's head and pulls, shutting off the carotid arteries. Another submission move is the arm bar. Operating from the guard position, the fighter uses his legs for leverage and control. But instead of using the leg lock as a fulcrum for choking out the opponent, his inside arm is leveraged against your upper leg or hip. Grabbing the trapped arm, you then flip your leg over your opponent's face and hyperextend the arm. It's just a matter of seconds before your opponent will tap out. The double leg takedown. The sprawl. The spinning back kick. The triangle choke and the arm bar. These are but a few of the essential moves of an MMA human weapon.